This is short guys, I found a way of using your original Carrera. Okay, these are the guys that slot underneath your, your rails for holding your barriers, okay? That's them slotted on there. But I found a way of connecting these up to my homemade um, borders. Now I use this stuff, it's it's a uh, flooring. Okay, wood for flooring. And I use this because this is 8 mil as well. What I found is if I, if, I, if I cut, you have this piece, okay, and then you cut this piece off, okay, cut that piece off using your Dremel tool, okay. Now, you put some hot glue there, and then you glue that on there, and that's the very same as what you have with your career track. You can cut off that little you can cut off that little pin in there as well. So it'll go right up against your your career track, you see? So that's the way of doing it. That's the way of making the barriers work with your homemade borders for your career track. Using your Carrera. Uh, are they crash guards, crash barriers? Using your career crash barriers. Okay guys, just thought I'd show you that. Just a quickie. So I'll get back to work now. So this one, I've cut that little, that little tiny piece. That little tiny piece that was in there. If I hold this this way. And I hold this one this way. You can see it's all cleared away. So that was the little piece I hadn't cut. Let me point at that piece. That piece there, cut that away as well. It's just for clipping into your original track. Then you get your hot glue, put a bit of hot glue onto this, okay. Offer up to your track, wherever you want it to go, and hold it. Hold it there for a few seconds until the hot glue goes off. There's one I just done. And there's the originals. Okay, so it's the very same idea as the originals. Okay, it's just that one goes onto my homemade borders and one goes into the prayer borders. And it's laminate flooring wood, eight millimeter laminate flooring. Now it's a lot of work to cut all the angles and you'll have gaps that won't be as nice as the career stuff. But um, it saves me a lot of money. I've done my whole track for 20 euro. The whole way around this track is done for 20 euro. And then I had a few borders from the Retro Grand Prix, or no, that I got with the chicane. There's no borders with the Retro Grand Prix set, but there are some borders came with that chicane, which I didn't use. You have two straight borders and some outside borders. I don't need them with the hairpin chicane, with the hairpin curve, sorry, hairpin curve. So I use them two here. And then I use the ones that, so they, these, these few actually came with that hairpin curve, okay, against the wall, and I have a barrier. I didn't need to use the outer curves that come with it. So that's what I'm up to. There you go, guys. Quick way to make your own barriers. If, if you make your own homemade borders, you can still use your Carrera guardrail connectors okay so guys i just thought i'd show you this uh, finished barrier so we have the original barrier and we have my homemade barrier i'm just going to test the barrier out now i haven't i haven't got around to doing the last piece so if this car well when this car leaves the track it's going to hit the barrier and maybe fall off the edge there because I haven't finished. But just to show you the barrier working. Okay, guys, let me see. I'm going to bind this mini on. Okay, test mini. Let's go. We'll come around into view now in a second and we'll test them barriers. Harry missed the barrier. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. So, here we are. Crash number one. Let's go for another one. Okay, guys. Barrier test. Number two. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, somewhere in there is the Mini. Let's go for barrier test. Number three. Okay, here we go. Full throttle. Let's zoom back a bit. Full throttle, let's go. Oh, okay. And another one. So as you can see, the barrier works. Absolutely perfect. So I'm really happy with that.